My name's Gary Calder, and um, I live in Sanderson, British Columbia. I haven't always lived here. I was born in Victoria. Uh, my father got employment in Vancouver when I was 16, so we moved there. And uh, I lived there for 50 years. And uh, following retirement, uh, we moved back to uh, the island in the Sanderson area. Uh, my, in real life, my real job, uh, I was a fire chief of uh, North Vancouver. But I was also, uh, we have hobbies and interests as all people do, and I was always interested in alternate energy and looking forward and kind of projecting out, um, I was thinking that there are a few things that are going to be vitally important uh, in the next few decades, and I certainly hope I have that long. And uh, one of them is energy. Uh, another one, of course, I, I think is fresh and potable water. Um, uh, air quality and those kinds of things were on my mind and so I got thinking okay uh, what can you do about it yourself and a lot of people do a lot of talking uh, but I'm the kind of guy I'm a results management guy and I kind of think walking the talk is way more important than just having a lot of discussion so I thought I'm gonna go and I'm gonna find a place where there is quite a lot of sunshine and I'm going to uh, think about what can I do around alternate energy. So that's how I got involved with solar panels. Yeah, um, Ver Viridian Energy was recommended to me uh, by uh, a chap, uh, he just happens to live across the street from our daughter who lives uh, not far from our home here. The game changer for me was the uh, guarantee warranties on the anchor system for the racking system. And Viridian was able to come up with uh, a warranted um, anchor system for my racks that protects the integrity of the solar panel and the entire system. And uh, in one year to the day we made exactly one-third of a gigawatt. And that just sounds like okay a third of a gigawatt but a gigawatt is a billion watts and this is just showering down from the from the sky. So that's incredible. One year one-third of a billion. So in three years a billion gigawatt hours? Wow. Of course, if you have solar panels, you'd like to get a lot of sunshine. And um, I knew that the Dominion Astrophysical Observatory is close by. It's on Sanderson Mountain. And so in a sense, the government did the work for me. They needed, um, that was the largest reflecting uh, lens in the British Empire at one point in time. And they needed an area that uh, wasn't uh, clouded over all the time. And so they had found that area, which is within a few kilometers of where I'm standing, uh, to be an area where it was a moderate temperature, so you weren't uh, um, upsetting the, the lenses by uh, extreme cold, and that it had um, a lot of hours of sunshine, and of course, um, on the other side of that, it had a lot of hours of starshine and moonshine, so they could use the telescope to its best advantage. So I sort of used their um, investigation that they had done and their decision to put that uh, observatory in Sanderson as part of my criteria of knowing I'd get enough hours of sunshine. So uh, I haven't been disappointed. Uh, we've done very well. Uh, we've got, uh, our system is pretty large. Um, I think it might be one of the larger private systems on the South Island. We've got 64 panels and it's a, a 25 uh, kilowatt system is uh, what Hydro calls it and uh, Viridian also called it. And uh, we have pretty much entirely offset all of our use and our house is a new house and it's entirely uh, electric. I don't have natural gas here, it's not uh, to our property line and I knew that when we built and that was another reason for wanting to think about solar panels. And so all of our heating, our hot water, our lights, you name it, all our utilities are looked after electrically and we also went and bought a new electric car and we have um, a station in the garage, a charging station, and I have roughed in again for a second charging station for a second electric car. And so we uh, offset not only our utilities for our home, but we offset our transportation costs almost entirely. Um, I was watching a show on solar panels um, from Italy, and there was a little village that uh, decided to go solar, 
and they were doing fine with you know having solar for their homes but they felt that it really sort of supercharged the value of the solar system by using it in the vehicles so the village itself started to put the the village vehicles the the bus and the uh, the garbage trucks and those kinds of things uh, on uh, uh, electric cars and they said that it was a, a, a huge benefit to the, to the village and a huge saving so I, I took it from that Italian village I thought that's a great idea so I went out and I bought a new electric car and then um, I had when we built the house I had thought we'll put some charging stations in which sounds really fancy but really all it is is, is the the stove plug if you have an electric stove it's that kind of plug with the 220 and um, when I purchased the car um, the charging station actually came with the car it was part of the as part of the purchase price so I'll just take the little cap off here and you can just see there that that just plugs into the car and so effectively if you think about it I drive around on sunshine so this is where you charge an electric car and for the system that I have it's this side here and that is um, my home charging station plugs into there. I don't line up at gas stations or have oil changes or worry about antifreeze or any of those kinds of things. I just drive around the electric car and it just sort of hums along. The other thing was um, as we were walking around, um, we have lavender here and uh, my wife gave you some lovely lavender and uh, we got talking about that. and. Uh, we love France. We've been to France numerous occasions and we have some connections with France. And um, I, in fact, was knighted in France. I'm a, I'm a chevalier. Uh, but I, I, I do hasten to say, uh, knighted totally by accident. Uh, but in any case, uh, it was just a life experience that's really fun. So yeah, I'm a, I'm a chevalier of, a, of an order of uh, French knights uh, from the Rhone Valley. So um, just one of those things that happens in life that's just a lot of fun and you look back on with a lot of fond memories.